From City Field in Flushing, Queens, welcome to New York Mets baseball. Tonight, the Mets face the Milwaukee Brewers in game three of a four-game series. Earlier today, Mets owner Steve Cohen held a press conference to express his frustration, just like everybody else who watches this team, about the way things have gone so far. But Mr. Cohen said that absolutely Billy Epler and Buck Showalter will keep their jobs through the end of the season. Could I sang it taking the mound at City Field where he's been most comfortable just the second time he'll pitch on regular rest. The first one did not go so well. That was against Toronto on June 4th and he got knocked out in the third inning. He'll try for better tonight against a Milwaukee lineup that is last in the league in offense. And Yelich though has been hot and he'll be leading off for Milwaukee against Senga. Yelich with a bullet back up the middle. Lead off knocks. See if he tries to turn it into two. Big turnaround first. There he goes for second. Here's the throw. It's not in time. It's a leadoff double for Christian Yelich. 16th double of the year for Yelich. Here's William Contreras. And he struck him out. Went back to the ghost fork to strike out Contreras for the first down of the night. Way out in front. Now Rowdy Telez. And there's a good fork ball to strike out Telez. So back to back strikeout for Senga with that split. So now two out of two on and for the third straight night a Mets starter throwing more than 20 pitches in the first inning. And now here's Senga 21 pitches deep and two men on for Jesse Winker. Line drive left center base hit. That's going to go to the gap and all the way to the wall. Yelich is in. Adamas will score all the way from first as Jesse Winker delivers a two run double and the Brewers have taken a two nothing lead. What a big hit right here. A two out RBI by Jesse Winker. We just talked about their troubles in hitting with runners in scoring position. He gets a fastball down in the zone. Might even have been below the zone and Jesse Winker laces a line drive into the gap. And scores Willie Adamas easily from first base. Well, that thing shot through the outfield grass. There's Wade Miley, 13 year veteran. He missed a month with the right, left lat strain. He's come back two starts after with two fine starts. Brandon Nimmo with two homers last night. We'll get it started for Buck Walters Mets. And Nimmo slaps one to left. Yelich is right there to make the play. Well positioned. And out number one. So one out of nobody on now starting Marte who has very good career numbers against Miley. And Marte takes a called strike three. I mean that is 36 year old Wade Miley at his best right there. They are furious. And that's a beautifully located pitch. So here's Lindor fresh off his 200th career home run yesterday. He has really sparkled over the last week and a half. And he deals Lindor weak ground ball out to second base and that will retire the side a one two three start for Wade Miley. He's already swimming around in the Mets heads. Last of the second inning here at City Field. The Brewers lead the Mets two to nothing. Wade Miley got the Mets in order in the first. Now Tommy Pham. Swinging a high fly ball. Well hit to left. Yelich going back. This one's on the way. And it is gone. Off the facing of the second deck. And falling into the lower level seats in left field. To the left of the 358 mark. Tommy Pham with his eighth home run of the year. Puts the Mets on the board. And the Milwaukee lead is cut to two to one. Bam hit the stuffing out of it. Mentioned Senga falling behind. He's faced 15 batters and thrown a first pitch strike to only six of the 15. Key moment in this game. Bases loaded two out in the third. And Brian Anderson, who leads the Brewers in RBI, is coming up. Struck him out. He threw a fastball right by Brian Anderson. And after 71 pitches over three innings, Odai Senga battling through. He strands the bases loaded. But the Brewers still have a two to one lead at City Field. So Miley who walks very few all of a sudden has walked two here in the fourth inning racketing a Pete Alonzo hit and Miley really up against it. He's got a one run lead but that's hanging by a thread. Lindor the tying run at third Alonzo at second fam at first and nobody out and a big chance for Francisco Alvarez been 13 games since Alvarez drove in a run. Got a prime opportunity to break that streak. And it's inside ball four, and that ties the game. Third walk of the inning by Miley. Lindor comes home with the tying run. It's two to two. And they got the eight and nine hitters coming up, Canna and then Mendick, to try and get more in this inning. Hobbit over to third. Anderson's got it. Fired a second out there. Throw to first. In time and a double play. That's a big moment in this game. And the Mets had him loaded. They get one, but that is it. So Senga up over 100 pitches now. Most he's thrown in a game this year is 106. 
So just trying to finish off this fifth inning looking for his first one two three inning of the night and Winker rolls over the fourth ball. And Mendick throws him out to end the inning so Sega finishes off his stint with his first one two three inning of the night halfway through tied at two. Well we go to the top of the sixth inning it's the Mets two, the Brewers two. it is now a battle of the bullpens and Grant Hartwig will come in something's got to give Brewers had to take advantage of these opportunities Perkins is 0 for two hitting eighth in the lineup tonight hit lead off yesterday and he dumps one into left field a base hit Miller got a good jump and here he comes. Fan will not make a throw. Miller is in. Blake Perkins delivers the Brewers in the lead. 3 2 Brew Crew on an RBI single from Blake Perkins. Brings up Brian Anderson now, who's 0 for 3. In the air, left center field. Long run for Tommy Pham. He looks up. It is off the base of the wall. Anderson on his way to second. He's in with a double. A two out double for Brian Anderson. And a scoring chance for the Brewers in the eighth inning. And here comes Joey Weimer with two on, two out. And a golden opportunity here. Ooh, in on his hands and that hit him. Oh boy. That looked like a swing to me, but the home plate umpire is saying take first base. I think, I think he's okay. At least he's okay to stay in. You can understand the Mets have a have a beef there if you're looking at just the bat, but I think the, the impact of the baseball broke the hands down. Buck Showalter is incredulous over there. Well, now they're loaded again. And here is Yelich up the middle, and it's through for a base hit. Anderson is in the score. Perkins will score, and Christian Yelich comes through. Two RBI single for Yelich. The Brewers stretch their lead to five to two, and the Boo Birds are out at City Field. Meanwhile, Buck is out talking to Ron Culpa, and now they're going chin to chin. And he's going to get run. Oh, he's going to get run. And yep. now he has been thrown out, which I think was his intention. He thought for sure that Joey's, Joey Weimer had swung at the ball that hit him. And it certainly looked from the video evidence as though he had. And after Yelich got the hit to cash in two runs, Buck decided he was going to get his pound of flesh. There's a lot brewing here in New York. Five to two. We head to the bottom of the ninth inning. Brewers adding on with a two RBI single from Yelich. And now it's Williams on to try to finish it off. Mets are down to their final strike. And a half swing and a miss. Contreras blocks, throws to first, and this ball game is over. The Brewers have taken the first two of three and have a chance to win the series outright tomorrow night here in New York. And the Mets fall back to a season worst eight games under 500 as they lose for the 17th time in their last 23 games. Milwaukee wins tonight five to two. 